In this video, we will examine which are the 10 most indebted countries in the world, according to 2019 data. There are three types of debts a country has. Public debt, household debt, and external debt. Gross government debt is the most relevant data for discussions of government default and debt ceilings. It is different from external debt, which includes the foreign currency liabilities of non-government entities. The public debt relative information provided by national sources CIA, is not always objective and true, given the fact that there is no independent research in these matters. Over the last five years, markets have swept concerns about debt under the rug. We find that Japan and Greece are the most indebted countries in the world, with debt-to-GDP ratios of 238% and 191%, respectively. Meanwhile, the United States sits in the number 8 spot with a 106% ratio. And recent Treasury estimates putting the national debt at $23 trillion. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. Public debt is all the money owed by the government to creditors. In these terms, there are some countries that are headed along a perilous path. Have you ever wondered why governments, even those of the wealthiest countries, have to borrow money to pay for health care, education, infrastructure, etc. etc.? The answer is almost trivial. Tax revenues are sometimes lower than expected, while expenses are higher. It is easier to make debts than to raise taxes. Unfortunately, for many countries, this is not an exceptional condition, and the deficit is structural. This happens in those countries where the population is aging and pensions and health care spending increase in relation to tax revenues and GDP growth. In addition, almost everywhere, governments prefer to borrow money rather than raise taxes. With all this in mind, it is easy to understand that the key to public debt is that a government is able to manage a primary surplus excess tax revenue over planned expenditure, sufficient to repay what has been borrowed. But, if the deficit persists, at some point, the default comes. And, if the default is avoided, the cost of financing a huge debt becomes an unsustainable burden on the shoulders of future generations. The 2009 financial crisis did not teach much. More than a decade after the debt crisis, one might think that governments learned from past mistakes. Unfortunately, both the OECD Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and the IMF International Monetary Fund data demonstrate the opposite. Since 2008, sovereign debt has increased significantly across the OECD area, albeit at a slower pace in recent years than in the 2008-2012 period. Until now, low interest rate levels and stable market conditions have created an environment that has allowed heavily indebted countries to float. Someone managed to bring their debt trajectory back on a sustainable path. Others continued to increase debt burdens. The latter include countries such as Australia, Chile, France, Italy, Portugal, Slovenia, Spain, and the United States. As monetary conditions tighten across the world, the debt burden is set to grow even more. When the cost of interest rates worsens, those who risk really big are the ones on the top of the following ranking, which shows the 10 most indebted countries in the world. These are the top 10 countries with the largest debt in the world. Here is a list of the top 10 countries with the most national debt. As by debt to GDP ratio by country in 2019. Number 1 Japan, 238%. Japan, national debt, 1,028 trillion yen, 9.087 trillion dollars USD. Number 2 Greece, 191%. Greece, national debt, 332.6 billion euros, 379 billion dollars US. Number 3 Portugal, 138%. Portugal, national debt, 232 billion euros, 264 billion dollars US. Number 4 Italy, 130%. Italy, national debt, 2.17 trillion euros, 2.48 trillion dollars US. Number 5 Bhutan, debt to GDP ratio, 118.6%. National debt, 2.33 billion dollars, USD. Number 6 Cyprus, debt to GDP ratio, 115.47%. National debt, 18.95 billion euros, 21.64 billion dollars, USD. Number 7 Belgium, debt to GDP ratio, 114.78%. National debt, 399.5 billion euros, 456.18 billion dollars USD. 
Number 8 United States of America debt to GDP ratio 106.1%. National debt $23 trillion USD. Number 9 Spain debt to GDP ratio 105.76%. National debt 1.09 trillion euros 1.24 trillion dollars USD. Number 10 Singapore debt to GDP ratio 104.7%. National debt $350 billion, $254 billion US. IMF data from the April 2018 IMF World Economic Outlook database. So Japan, with its population of 128 million, has the highest national debt in the world at 238% of its GDP, although, notably, Japan is also one of the world's largest economies. This is followed by Greece, which is still recovering from the effects of its economic crisis and subsequent bailout, at 191%. We also find Venezuela, which is currently undergoing serious economic difficulties, is also in the top five countries with the highest national debt, with a debt-to-GDP ratio of 161.99%. Several African countries also have high national debts, including Sudan 176.49%, Eritrea 129.43%, and Gambia 111.45%. Of the world's major economic powers, the United States has the highest national debt at 106.1% of its GDP. By comparison, China, the world's second largest economy and home to the world's largest population 1,416,000,000, has a national debt ratio of just 51.21% of its GDP. Germany, as Europe's largest economy, also has a relatively low national debt ratio at 59.81%. Hong Kong, a major global financial center, has the lowest national debt in the world, at just 0.05% of its GDP. This is followed by the tiny kingdom of Brunei with a population of just 434,000 and a national debt of 2.49% of its GDP. Number 1. Japan. National debt, 1,028 trillion yen, 9.087 trillion US dollar. Debt per capita, $71,421 USD. Debt to GDP ratio, 238%. Population, 127.2 million. Currency, Japanese yen. Japan's government debt is less than half that of the United States in terms of dollars. However, the Japanese national debt is more than twice its GDP, indicating that it may be in a difficult financial position. The country's economy is growing at a slower rate than economists have anticipated for years. Consequently, its central bank has resorted to negative interest rates in an effort to stimulate the economy. While Japan's current debt-to-GDP ratio is staggering, it had decreased from its record high of 250.4% in 2016. Japan's debt at 238% of its GDP. Except this doesn't tell the whole story as Japanese people save lots of money, and Japanese people buy government bonds for their empty gap. The empty gap is where Japanese employees are pushed out three to six years before retirement and have to make do for themselves until they get their pensions. By comparison, the UK, if all liabilities are considered, has 400% debt to GDP. Number 2. Greece. National debt, 332.6 billion euros, 379 billion dollars US. Debt per capita, $35,120, US dollar, debt to GDP ratio, 191%. Population, 10.8 million. Currency, Euro. On the surface, Greece's national debt of $379 billion US hardly seems smaller than most. But its high debt to GDP ratio, high unemployment levels across the country, and the continuing struggle to keep up with existing debt repayments are problematic. International creditors have bailed out the country numerous times since its debt crisis began in 2010, and government spending remains austere in an effort to get debt levels back under control. Number 3. Portugal. National debt, 232 billion euros, 264 billion dollars US. Debt per capita, 25,538 dollars USD. Debt to GDP ratio, 138%. Population, 10.37 million. Currency, Euro. 
Portugal has been struggling through a financial crisis since 2010 and has received various bailouts from international creditors in the years since. While Portugal has reportedly returned to a level of fiscal health, its level of national debt still exceeds its GDP, indicating that the nation's financial woes are not yet over. At the end of 2016, Portugal recorded a government debt-to-GDP ratio of 130.4%. That percentage has risen to 138.08% by the middle of 2017. Portugal's weak economy and slow growth throughout the third quarter of 2016 have sparked fears that the country may see its credit ratings downgraded in the near future. Number 4. Italy. National debt 2.17 trillion euros, 2.48 trillion dollars US. Debt per capita, $40,787 USD. Debt to GDP ratio, 130%. Population, 60.8 million. Currency, Euro. The country is still struggling with slow economic growth and high unemployment levels, following a triple dip recession in the years after 2007. Throughout the first quarter of 2017, Italy's 17 billion euros banking crisis reared its head again after years of festering under the radar. Number 5. Bhutan. National debt $2.33 billion, USD. Debt per capita $2,993, USD. Debt to GDP ratio, 118.6%. Population, 774,830. Currency, Bhutanese Ngultram. Bhutan is a small Asian country with close economic ties to India. The nation relies heavily on India for financial assistance but also depends on the availability of foreign workers to support its infrastructure. At the end of 2016, Bhutan recorded a government debt-to-GDP ratio of 118.6%, an increase of 19.92% from its ratio of 98.9% .9 at the end of the previous year. Number 6. Cyprus. National debt, 18.95 billion euros, 21.64 billion dollars USD. Debt per capita, 25,551 dollars. Debt to GDP ratio, 115.47 percent. Population, 847,008. Currency, Euro. Cyprus's exposure to Greece caused a number of economic problems within the country. From 2012 to 2013, Cyprus experienced a financial crisis that was a combined result of Cypriot banks being overexposed to over-leveraged property companies and its proximity to the Greek financial crisis. The country received an international bailout of 10 billion euros, 11.4 billion dollars USD in the first quarter of 2013, following the failure of its second largest bank. Since that time, its national debt-to-GDP ratio has slowly climbed from 102.2% in 2013 to 115.47% in mid-2017. Number 7. Belgium. National debt, 399.5 billion euros, 456.18 billion dollars USD. Debt per capita, 30,518 dollars USD. Debt to GDP ratio 114.00%. Population, 11.25 million. Currency, Euro. Belgium is the seat of the wealthy Eurozone's government. Yet the nation is still caught under the burden of high national debt levels. Belgium has few natural resources and is reliant on importing substantial quantities of raw materials. The country's national debt-to-GDP ratio has been hovering above 105 percent since 2013. Number 8. The United States of America. National debt, $23 trillion, USD. Debt per capita, $61,231, USD. Debt-to-GDP ratio, 106.1 percent. Population, 324.35 million. Currency, US dollar. The United States is the world's largest economy, and it also has the highest level of national debt. While its national debt levels exceed the country's GDP in 2017, in 2007, the U.S. debt-to-GDP ratio was at just 62.5 percent. The U.S. government spends around 6 percent of its annual budget just repaying the interest payments on its debt, which significantly reduces the amount of money available to pay for other programs. 
In order to repay such a massive debt, the government could decrease spending, which could impede economic growth, or increase taxes to raise revenue. Number 9. Spain. National debt, 1.09 trillion euros, 1.24 trillion dollars USD. Debt per capita, $26,724 USD. Debt to GDP ratio, 105.76%. Population, 46.7 million. Currency, Euro. Spain's economic woes have been well publicized in recent years, although experts predict the country's economic growth will be robust throughout 2017. The level of national debt relative to GDP has been slowly decreasing over the past two years, but still remains a concern to economists. Number 10, Singapore. National debt, $350 billion, $254 billion US. Debt per capita, $45,915 USD. Debt to GDP ratio, 104.7%. Population, 5.54 million. Currency, Singapore dollar. Singapore is considered one of the richest countries in the world, yet it has a high national debt to GDP ratio. The country's economic growth slowed to 0.6% in 2016, its lowest level since the global financial crisis of 2008. Throughout the first two quarters of 2017, it has been widely reported that the growth rate of Singapore's economy is slowing further, with the country at risk of sinking into a recession. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.